I'm feeling absolutely wonderful. It's just so exciting to be here uh, and to see a, a dream that's been going on for 30 years actually realised. Yeah, OK. Uh, so, um, in the original concept for this, for this project, we always thought we would need to have another building that would actually provide an income to support Square Chapel. So we actually, in our first scheme that we put to Calderdale, we already were talking about building a second building out here, which was going to be a commercial building. So now, to have actually, because we didn't actually believe that we would ever really succeed in having a, and making a performing arts centre that would ever really, really, really work in that way, in the way it has. So to actually have got a building now, which has a second auditorium, instead of a commercial building, is just way beyond what we ever dreamt of. So I think that's another reason that we're really thrilled. Um, but for me, there are layers that you can put one layer on top of the other. That's the first layer. The second layer would be actually what has happened with Peace Hall. Um, when we started the project, uh, uh, one of our patrons said, well, Robin, you can take an old building and you can save it, or you can start a performing arts centre. What you can't do is to take an old building and perform, set up a performing arts centre in the same building. And that's exactly what we've succeeded in doing. But on top of that, we've, we've also been involved with the Peace Hall. And I think the, the, the real satisfaction is to actually see the whole of this quarter now become a, a cultural focus for Halifax, which I don't believe would have happened if we hadn't actually bought Square Chapel in 1988. Uh, well, it's definitely a project of a lifetime and uh, it all started with a competition which Robert and Jessica helped initiate 12 years ago and uh, I remember thinking about it uh, in terms of geometry um, so we had these two amazing listed buildings in, in close proximity and they just happened to be at an angle of 10 degrees to each other so we were thinking about a shape that might be able to unite the two historic buildings. And that, that was where the idea of the prism, as we call it, was born. Um, mm. So we made a model with a, a perspex prism and put a little light underneath it to sort of symbolise the foyer coming to life in the evening. And uh, I think there's a concept that um, found a lot of favour and captured people's imaginations. And it's a concept, actually, Robert, that we've absolutely insisted on holding on to, isn't it? I mean, there was a time when, it's, when it got pulled around and, and we almost abandoned it, and we mm. just said, no, that was the concept. That was what we, why we chose you. And it really works, so we've got to find a way of making it work, and that's mm. what you've done. Mm. And we've, we've had the luxury of, you know, 10 years of design development since then to refine. <laughs> <laughs> luxury! <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And, and hone every detail and really make the, 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 the simple forms um, very clear and to choose finishes which uh, match both of the existing buildings, work with them, but at the same time they're very contemporary uh, in, the, in their language and appearance. I think you've indulged us for 10 years, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps you've indulged us, Robin. <laughs> it might be mutual, but uh, the fact that you haven't, uh, you've stayed with it for 10 years is also pretty good. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's been a journey, but a, a wonderful journey, and um, there's no doubt that it is a very special place here, and uh, a lot of people, um, particularly locally, it's an important part of their lives, you know, and you can feel the warmth and the love. Uh, and we have done through, through the whole process, and I think that's sort of fueled us really mm, in true. our enthusiasm for the project.